Industrial design is very heavily involved in the, in the Centennial Challenge. Our team out here has uh, been developing the actual trophies as well as developing the Martian diorama, a vision of what Mars living could be like, as well as working on machines that, that don't exist yet, but we think might have a, a future uh, in an autonomous or remote controlled uh, type of environment. This project allowed us to bring all of our strengths and interests and crazy ideas to bear to, to make this happen. Uh, my role was to build the, the space house. How often do you build a dollhouse for NASA? So it's, it's the novelty of it, I think, is the fun part of it. So we took one of the original habitat modules, which were relatively small, and we were asked to actually make that very large and then come up with an interior, what that would look like. Okay, so you had to have you know, workspaces, common areas, sleeping quarters. This sort of, of uh, event really brings the future to what we do is at Caterpillar. At Caterpillar moves dirt. We make big yellow pieces of iron that move a lot of dirt. But that's not all Caterpillar is. Caterpillar is always learning, it's always growing. We're trying to look at future technologies and if we're gonna be mining on the moon, maybe we should look at what it's gonna to take to mine on the moon or on Mars or wherever we're gonna go. A lot of us have a lot of of uh, sci-fi and, and technical kind of stuff in our background. So when we were approached about supporting this activity, we were very excited about being able to do whatever we could do and then giving us the freedom to do the stuff you see behind us, you know, was really exciting. <laughs>